Hello. My name is Chester Roosevelt. My teenage years are what some would call perfect. I had a great job at the local video store, a beautiful girlfriend named Ashley, and I was considered a track god at my high school. That perfection went to my head, though. You know, being number one was somewhat of a catchphrase for me. <laughs> life has a funny sense of irony. After waking up that day, my life was never the same. Today is not the day for this game, young man. You know how upset your grandmother gets when we send her less than extraordinary school photos. Now put this on and come downstairs for my approval. We try to find help. Professionals, books, medicine men, psychic hotlines. No one knew what to do. Do I really have to wear this tie? Ah! Turns out, having a finger growing out of your brain isn't a problem for most kids my age. <laughs> Shut up! Why is this happening to me? Happening to you? I don't deserve this. What am I gonna tell your grandmother? She's probably gonna accuse me of feeding you too much junk food or something. There's no way you're going to school today. I didn't argue with her there. I did, however, need to go to work that day. Or so I thought. I'm sorry, Chester. You know how I feel about these kinds of things. What kind of things? Uh, fucked up things, like that their finger. Man, I mean, look, this is, this is why I waited for last week. Just please, go buy a pair of scissors or something. Well, don't just stand there, get out! Get the fuck out! Work was just the beginning. Look at that. It's a well-oiled machine. I'm not bothered by them, <clears throat> but uh, I have been getting pressure from the other parents. They think it might be contagious. We have to think of the team. You understand? Yeah. Sure, Coach. At least I knew Ashley would be there for me. Just get away from me, you finger freak. My family tried to be supportive, but there were limits to their patience. Mom, Chester's finger's looking at me funny. Chester, you know it's not nice to point. You can't control it. Mom! Just go outside or something. Don't you have any friends anymore? What do you get, Chester? We'll hang out with you. No! Sweet! Never mind. He's a good boy, you hear? Stay back! I have no grandson. It wasn't just my friends, either. It seemed everyone was out to get me. Hey, here comes the freak with the finger. I heard he got it from masturbating too much. I heard he got it from... You heard he got it because he's a fag. Stop him! At that point, I just wanted to curl up under a rock and die. At least the worms wouldn't make fun of me. Winston, will you look at that wonka? Bloody hell, what's that guy out of his head? He almost looks like Charlie. Ah, oh, we gotta show him this. Hey, Charlie. Trista couldn't have come at a better time. You okay, Chester? Just leave me alone. Yeah, I probably should, but I think you've learned your lesson.
I'm sorry about all that. I guess I really can't blame him, you know? I was just like him. I'll forgive you if you let me touch it. Um, mm -mm. Oh, come on, it's cute. Does it hurt? Well, no, I mean, it kind of did at first, but I'm used to it. You don't have to play the good guy, you know? You're gonna be late to class. I'm not playing anything, Chester. I don't care if you're a freak. I think I understand what you're going through. How could you possibly understand what I'm going through? My cat has six toes on his paw. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done if she hadn't come along. She was the first person to not only look past my odyssey, but to love it. With the confidence she instilled in me, I was able to rebuild my life. I convinced the coach to put me back on the team. I went to college and fulfilled my mom's dream by becoming a doctor. You, Trista, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband. Richard for and the best thing to come out of this whole ordeal is that Trista and I got married last summer. I do. You may place the ring. Well, there you have it, my life story. I don't know if any of you can learn something from this, but I'll tell you what I learned. Sometimes the only thing that can point you in the right direction is the finger growing out of your forehead. You may kiss the bride.